Shabrande Gozigele Teke. Psalms 89 verses 15. He says, Blessed is the people that know the sound, the joyful sound. You're blessed if you can pick the sound. Because it means you know the voice. He didn't say blessed are the people that hear the sound. He said blessed are the people that know the sound. Because you cannot know the sound when you don't know the voice. And he says they shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. And in thy name they shall rejoice all day. And in thy righteousness they shall be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength. And in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. Our horn shall be exalted. Now a prophet walks to Ahab, to Ahab and tells him, go eat and drink. For I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. That means there was a voice that came to the prophet that it's going to rain. Are you following what I'm saying? Elijah goes on top of Mount Carmel. And then, to agree with science, he tells his servant, go by the sea. Because if the sun should shine and something should vaporize, it has to be by some water body. Go by the sea, he says, and look. He says, what do you see? He says, I see nothing. Yes, there is nothing seen, but the man is hearing the sound. A sound that came because of a certain voice. And a voice that came because it's prophetic enough to hear God. He knows the meaning. Now, Elijah prays seven times. If that cloud had not come up on the seventh time, Elijah was going to pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. Because when a man has had a certain voice and, ha and knows a certain sound, it doesn't matter even if they have not seen anything yet in the cloud. The instruction to them is simple. Keep praying. That man is not believing God for rain. That man has had the abundance of rain. Out of the abundance of the heart, so the mouth speaks. Out of the abundance of the clouds bringing rain, Elijah spoke knowing that that rain must fall. Now people who are like Elijah, when they have had a certain voice and they know the sound, they have had the sound, even when it has not yet rained, even when they have not yet seen a cloud, they are not shaken. They just keep praying. They can't drop back. They can't keep quiet. They can't give up. They can't, they can't, uh, they know it's not working. But I know that 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 one day I had God. And that voice gave a certain sound to my spirit. Every time it reverberates in my spirit, I find that there is no way I cannot, I cannot not pray. There is no way I can give up on my prayer. There is no way I can stop fasting. There is no way I can give, I, 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 even if I don't see it, I keep persisting and persisting and persisting and persisting because I know what I heard. That is why when, when you hear God a certain way, you feel sorry for the things that stand against you. You feel sorry for the people who stand against you because they didn't hear. They didn't hear, but you heard. I know who sent me and what he said to me. Nothing can take me out like that. Come on, somebody. I might have not yet seen the rain up there. I just need to go on my knees. I know how to find him. I'll just keep praying. And I'll send for the servant and tell him, look up in the sky. What do you see? If they don't see, that's okay. But the day I pray and I see a cloud up the size of a hand, when you are that kind of spirit, when you see the... You don't need so much evidence. You just need to see a cloud the size of a hand in the sky. The moment you see that, you stop praying. You run. 